For this homework, you're going to draw a tree. But you're going to do this tree with lots of Cal State Cools. So let's say we go this way, this way, this way. You know, I'll make up another one. But you can see how these all these lines flow. Those are Cal State Cools. Okay. Then after the Cal State Cool, you'll throw in the straights. And that will be the Cal State Pitchens. Okay. So let's do it. Okay, what we're going to use here, this is actually fun. This is pan pastel. Let's start playing with some different techniques. You can get this at your local art supply store or contact us. We might have, you know, I might be able to get them for you through our school, okay? So, you know, we may have it in our supply kit because they're really fun. See how fast you can get this rhythm down. So in your lecture, we were talking about the human body, but we're going to be having our own figure drawing classes. So in this case, though, what we're going to do is use a tree. It's a happy tree. Okay, you see that? Then you're going to come back in with your happy pencil, which is your Conti, and look for those Cal State Cools. Come this way. You guys see that okay? And then from there, this will dance around to this one. This Cal State Cool will come to this one. This will come to this one. So see how you draw with these Cal State Cools. And they even exist on the inside. See. So then this line here, let's find a grain. There's your bark, which also Cal State cools. See how everything just flows? Now wherever we don't have this curve, put a straight. You can take your kneaded eraser, start picking out your lights. Let's see how the light come this way. So now we'll let you start showing off.
and get in there and draw. So every line, Cal State Coast, even here, to here, to here, okay? So we'll keep it simple, I'm not going to go too complicated, but you can see these beautiful Cal State Coast. Alright, have some fun with it. You know what? Let's do another tree also. I'm going to do it with another technique. I haven't pissed you guys off in a while. I had the greatest hate mail because of this pen. So I thought, let's bring it back out again. So this pen, um, I got cheaper. All right, so we're going to draw a straight line. I think I got it for 400. I think it was worth 600. But... I saw it in Monte Carlo. Ooh. I saw it in Monte Carlo. I think, maybe you guys, you know, out there, if you're in that area, can take a look. Monte Carlo for 1,100 euro. So what would that be in U.S.? Somebody can get back to me on that. But first, let's make sure it's there. This is a Cartier. It's all gold. It's a really pretty pen. And you know what? It doesn't make you draw any better. But it really pisses everybody off. Now, what I prefer to draw with is these little ballpoint pens. I'm going to be bringing these to my class on Friday. Ones that are stolen from hotels. But it's getting a little late. I'm going to work into the night here, and uh, let's do a dancing tree. And we'll work with a pen that you guys hate. So this is a cheap water brush, and this is an outrageously expensive pen. Okay, so now we have our primary shape, which gives us these Cal State Cools. This way, this way, this way. We can just see the emails coming. You are horrible. Okay, here we go. I work in uh, homicide forensics, and uh, I was wearing a t-shirt that says coroner on it. And this woman walks up to me and she says, you've been freaking us out. I was in a restaurant. She goes, you've been freaking us out. And I thought, why? You know, what did I do? You know, I'm just sitting here with my family enjoying a meal. I forgot I had a coroner shirt on. And her husband walks up to me. I think he was about 112. And he says, you're the grim reaper. And I, was, I thought it was really funny. I said, well, sir. Okay, so this comes up here and Cal State Cools. I said, well, sir, I hope we don't get to see you professionally. You know, a little gallows humor there, but it was pretty funny. It's like, what did I do? I wasn't, you know. Well, any time you end up in the coroner's office, is, you know, an autopsy is if it's something suspect. Okay, so we're going to come this way. We're going to come down. Every line just flows into the other line. So, you know, we find the shadow. So, light, let's have the light come this way. 
we're just going to hit the shadows on this side just melt the ink see that so when you do this tree drawing I want you guys to have fun when I say guys I also mean gals you male chauvinist teacher who uses expensive pens no, actually, I have all daughters. I would not be able to survive in my home if I was a chauvinist. There we go. You know what? This pen actually does feel pretty good. I should use it. that fun? You put a rock in the foreground here. You're using a very expensive pen and the cheapest paper in the world so it's not taking the ink very well. Okay, try one. Okay, but don't try it with this pen. Try it with just a cheap pen. It is pretty though, isn't it? You should use it more often. You just sit there and stare at it. Okay, do your homework.